can just let it run. And if you want, you can zoom in and out a little bit. If you make it a little bit exciting. So, um, a few things. When we play, usually the fiddle leads. Fiddle plays a tune, and I will join in. If I don't know the song, I will learn it as he's playing it, which is very, can be sometimes very difficult because he likes very difficult songs with strange forms. Uh, this is going to be a demonstration and a little bit of conversation, but we'll play a little bit so you can hear this style. Let's start with something uh, that, that's comfy, yeah. So that's what we call this kind of stuff, kind of jamming. Jam. It's not um, practice, not anything, just for fun, just jamming. Yeah, like a jam. Like I, I've said before, it's kind of like music like playing frisbee or music like yoga. It's not really a performance for other people. And our goal is kind of like listening to each other, being in a groove together, finding some things that we like. We won't play it exactly the same. We'll make little changes. The tune is kind of kind of simple. It's short, but we play it kind of kind of over over again. So then some other mostly just fiddle. It's a king and a queen, dog. That's all. It is. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so why don't we start with Cumberland Gap? Okay. Okay. getting warmed up. I'm so hot <laughs> already. Uh, we got so good some dinner, so that's a, I, oh yeah, I'm hot. Anyway, oh, okay. How about uh, do you want to do? Uh, do you have any question? Let's play. Let's play another tune and then ask them a little bit. And you okay. can hear a couple of different ones. Maybe um, next one kind of kind of same. The same? No, I kind of all tunes kind of same for you guys. What about um, so, uh, the we played this morning? Yeah. 
So, um, and it feels strange to have people clap. It's okay, but uh, usually when we play, the first few times people clap, and then later on they don't clap. They're just listening or not listening. But it's it's different from a performance, right? We're performing in a way, and it feels a little bit strange to have so many people listening. Um, so it's not happening. Just same thing. Just the short song. We just we play just maybe several times because main. <clears throat> purposes uh, that's for dancing, you know, square dancing, yeah, square dancing, kind of clogging, you know, clogging, and kind of, kind of tap dancing. So that's not for the listening, kind of like a. It's not much of a concert music, but it's a demonstration <laughs> for you. So, what's something that you notice, or do you have a question? <laughs> Does it always take some time? Yeah. Sorry, but I noticed that you just play the violin here. The violin here is not uh, like It's my uh, a bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, many Sorry. old guys, I, I mean, mm -hmm. 19th, I mean, say just a mm hundred -hmm. years ago, so just from Europe to the United States, so they, they brought the fiddle. Uh, we call it the fiddle. It's kind of exact same instrument like a, a violin, but kind of kind of crappy because you know how to say it, just don't have to be fancy. So that anyway, so they don't get any basic training for the classical music, but still they have a kind of traditional music. Use the fiddle out a lot, so in the world. So that's um, some people play like that. So Irish musician mostly play like this, but it's a uh, some of them, we call old time music, Appalachian music. So it's comfortable for us. Yeah. So, but for, uh, for the more, you know, just some classical music or some other stuff in need goes up here, it's not easy. But mostly the traditional tunes has only the first position we call. It. So that's, you know, can comfortable. But anyway, bad habit. I used to hold like this. So that's both of them really bad. <laughs> But I would, Aki right. is, is uh, explaining it in a, in, a, in a very gentle way, but the, there's a different style. When you hold the instrument in a different way, you make a slightly different sound. And certain kinds of tunes are easier, and other kinds of tunes are more difficult. So the classical style of playing is better suited to the modern playing position. But if you listen to his sound, his bow sound is different. His bow is very loose. Yeah, I, I like loose bow. And the, the bow sound is a little bit dirty or scratchy. Now, remember, whenever you have something that's participatory, often they want the sound to be have a little bit of noise so that it doesn't have to sound perfect. So like the banjo chord often is, you, you strum all four fingers. And you're just trying to get a, you're not trying to get a perfect chord in one moment, but you're trying to create room for there to be some difference. So this is one of the ways that they produce and create a little bit of flexibility in the sound. Do you want to just uh, demonstrate a little bit of your bowing? Just listen. My bowing. Or and you're playing. Okay, it's any uh, violin player here, but you know, just before I show you guys uh, uh, bowing because. My fiddle is a set up by myself. It's a kind of really uh, flat cut bridge. So that's uh, usually it's just a classical uh, player. They cannot play this kind of flat. It's more arched. So, but my bowing kind of loose bow makes kind of easy to touch it. Two strings. So they play. He plays two strings together often. So, but it's not called kind of you know drawn. So that's. A, Together, some of them, you know. 
Also easy, I don't have to use you know, my elbow, it's not like this. Mostly just here, but still I can play, you know, it's all um, strings. So that's, uh, maybe all guys play kind of kind of lazy, so that's like me, so probably. Or well, it's, it's much more efficient for this style. Mm -hmm. For your style, this is the easiest way. Also one of typical type of old time fiddler's style. So I'm following. Yeah. So some of them should play like this, but not have to be one style, but I prefer here, this one. Also many old time fiddler's just by himself play. Also um, he plays uh, fiddler with his singing. So it's easy to sing. I, I'm not a good singer, but you know, or, uh, you know, that's really easy to sing, so that's, that's one reason. Because they don't have any, not so much entertainment, kind of, many years ago. So that's uh, for fun, kind of back porch music, from porch music, you know, for dance. So that's kind of, also, I'm doing kind of stomping, the same thing, you know, usually they do, they do not have, they do not have any kind of bass, usually, because bass is a big instrument. They could not um, bring to the United States so much. So then, this is kind of instead of bass. So that's one of so that's dancing bass, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one reason. So that's you want to do uh, crooked Molly hair? Oh yeah, that's is that okay? Uh, 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 yeah, I know. You know, it's my choice. <laughs>
Now, can I tell you, <clears throat> most of these songs have two sections, A section, B section. I forgot the B section yeah. this time. Yeah. I don't remember. The first time I'm playing a different song, and then I realized I don't remember how it goes. And so then the next time through, I'm listening, thinking, can I, can I keep playing and hear what he's doing and then try to find it? And each time I got a little bit closer. It's easy. So I play all um, kind of melodies and notes, but banjo have to play all melodies. If, you know, some banjo player play all fiddle notes. Yeah. It's kind of weird. You know, kind of too much unison. So that's a, that's a banjo's banjo. Actually, I'm a banjo player. Anyway, yeah. So I like that kind of, you know, kind of. Finding I, something out. Mm -hmm. But so as I went, I was trying to learn, relearn what it was. So whatever I was thinking was wrong. So I have to keep playing and change what I'm thinking. It's like, uh, play the B section. <laughs> sound exactly together. Not hard. Even if I play the wrong melody, it doesn't sound horrible because there's a lot of room in it. So when we're talking in this class about participatory music, this is an example of what participatory partnership can sound like and look like. We come together, we play some songs we remember, we, in, we have fun together, and I can tell you there's another professor here, uh, Dr. Ho, Steve Ho, who's a composer. And for three years, he keeps saying, I want to come together and play music just for fun. But we never have in three <laughs> years. And the reason is, he's a very good piano player. Uh... And if I want to play with him, I have to practice my bass until it sounds good enough. And then we have to figure out which songs we know. And it should sound good. And if we, we, I think both of us know that if we try to come together and play, we're going to take it too serious and it's not going to sound great. It's, we're going to be thinking about famous jazz musicians and we're going to think that we don't sound so good. But with this style, we just start playing right away. And because the style is welcoming, just like when you play frisbee or basketball for fun, or go swimming with a friend. Yeah, do something to you know. And I think in music education, we don't always know how to do this. I've been thinking about this. So with the ukulele, we can all do something, right? And have some fun. And we will play some ukulele in a little bit. You can see. Do you do you want to try to play in A too? Can we can we change tunings? Yeah. Okay. So the banjo and the fiddle often will retune. That's a kind of big thing, it's different than other fiddle music. They won't change the tunings. They, I mean, it's just modern violin. Yeah, you know, violin standard tuning now. It's a G, B, A, E. But I'm going to A, E, A, E. Yeah, just A, E, A, E. Just, I'm going up um, low D to E and low G to A. So that's cross tuning, we call it. It's a common thing uh, in old time music because it's easy to follow the melody. I brought my son tonight <laughs> because he hasn't heard us play yet. Aki got here 
yesterday afternoon, and he's staying until Tuesday. And I think for him to get to hear this kind of music is important. But he can also bring a book. You don't want to read? Okay, good. Up to you. Is that chair still comfy? You want to come sit over here? Okay. <laughs> Up to you. So, um, so we have both retuned. So now he has two strings and an octave up. So if he plays any pattern down there, he can just move it over and have a new version. And it will probably sound different and feel different uh, to be in a different key. And the banjo has one short string that the note doesn't change. And for me, it's A right now. But when I was in the key of D, that was the fifth of the chord, right? But now, it's the root. So the drone's different. What do you want to do? Oh, that's rather What about, yeah, that different. The whole ensemble, to me, sounds different. 
Uh, and this song has a very relaxed feeling. And you can hear how the banjo, which doesn't sustain, very quick. Mixed with the fiddle that has the long sustained notes is a really nice interplay. Uh, question or comments? So shy, huh? It, it, that's a Hong Kong style. <laughs> Maybe not interested, huh? <laughs> um, the, you are at the only concert of old time music in Hong Kong tonight. Yeah, we Maybe are, this month. We are best. We're the uh, best old time, -time duet in Hong Kong. And we are, we are also the worst. Because it's only us. There's nobody who plays this style in all of Hong Kong. Yeah. Um, so, how do you get to know this old town music? Like, when you start learning music, do you start in classical or...? Oh, good question. <laughs> yeah, I should bring my this kind of magazine because I get interviewed so, all the time. Because I'm Japanese. This one is uh, American music, you know, from Appalachian, kind of old time music, like Irish music, same kind of stuff, but I'm Japanese. It's not easy to get in that kind of music, but it's rock story, okay? <laughs> yeah, time, so <laughs> what should I say? But it's the tunes, it's, you know, it's, now it's easy. It's the internet. It used to, it's really hard to get, because not my era, but it's uh, maybe older generation, they're going down, just only small area in the United States. United States is really big. But still, you know, kind of, yeah, it's, it's not popular, not, not anywhere. But so then going down to the old guy playing in some, somewhere, then make some recording. So then they share the recordings, with the tape or something, oh, you guys so young to, you know, cassette or open wheel anyway. So anyway, disket or something. But anyway, so now it's easy, but. How's it? How did you start? Oh, how, how, oh, that's, oh, actually, uh, I, when I was young, I mean, kid, so I got some guitar. That's in Japan, it's a uh, kind of 70s, so we had some kind of uh, folk movement, like in the United States, you know, like a hippie mm -hmm. culture. That's a red 60. So then we got the same kind of stuff. So then I got some guitar first. Then I play some flat picking guitar, some folk, folk music. It, it's okay, it's still it's long way to the, I can't feel through anyway. So, but anyway, just I like I like playing music. But you didn't have lessons. Yes, just self teaching by ear, listening because to recordings, and then meeting people. Yeah, recording. They share a little bit. So, recording is not easy to get. Also, we don't have any music seat. Now we can get probably in internet, but. It's not easy to to get the, the notation. Yeah. So, so Aki uses number no notation. Oh yeah, it's the ABC. So he yeah. has. Uh, do you have any of your books here? Uh not here. But in, yeah. ABC notation. But it's the same thing. But in it, that's kind of it's a kind of memo pass thing. In it, just you know, just intonation is kind of important thing. Mm -hmm. So I know some kind of uh, fedora uh, who had a kind of. Uh, basic uh, classical violin training. So they, sometimes they can um, follow me really easy, but still, they play the notes, but, you know, just, um, but I play like a, you know, my bong is kind of, if you want to know my boy, but it's, mostly classical music is just this way, you know. But I play like a more. So it makes more kind of mix, kind of more chord. Open, open string, kind of Playing control. Notes in one bowl, like. Oh, yeah, sometimes, yeah, that's also. There's more string crossing. Yeah, that's, happening. you know, just not only just one down bowing, but I push it kind of two accents. 
that's kind of typical type of um, old time sounds. Yeah, that's fiddle music is a mini fiddle music like a jazz, classic, and bluegrass. Uh, also, yeah, but old time one you know typical type old time music is kind of really unique, boring they have. So that's it's it's kind of it's kind of simple but not easy to make that sound. So also tunes is kind of easy. I mean, simple. The tunes are designed to be easy so that so, you can join in. So it's, this music I like because you know I play uh, uh, kind of other music, mostly acoustic music like bluegrass kind of thing. Not singing, mostly it's kind of playing music. I mean, instrument. But, but I love all time music now because you know just jamming. So somebody has some jamming like that. So then I, if I join. Them. So that's this music is a really short song to play many times. They also not have to be kind of improv improvising. So then, you know, if um, I said just it's easy to follow, even fake. So that's that's what I get getting this kind of music. But Aki likes songs that have a little bit of. Uh... Yeah, every time I'm making something like, uh, very... We call it crooked. Yeah. Which means not a straight form. So, like, can we do a little short piece in the pod? Piece in the pod? Oh. Crooked one? Yeah, okay. Are, there's some surprises in the rhythm structures. So you made it up. It's not the original tune? Uh, yeah. Somebody's original. Because, <laughs> okay, young guys got, um, went down to some really country part of the um, United States, kind of West of Virginia or Kentucky, somewhere. Then, so they made really old, old guys fiddling. So, old guy, um, that's one of my opinions. So, that's, they recorded it. He's playing, the old guy. But old guy maybe got some cough or some, you know, just bring some cough. Then he put he put one extra beat. Oh. But young guy, wow, that's cool, you know. That's kind of happen a lot. So also old guy, so confusing A part and B part. Some some tunes A part, but B part is you pop up and different tunes B part. But wow, what's new tune? It's cool, you know. That thing a lot. So so because the Music gets passed around by ear. So by ear also. Sometimes yeah. Aki taught me a tune in a way that he never played it. He only played it that way one time, and then when I came back, he says, "I practiced it and learned it from his recording, and I learned his version that he did yeah. kind of by mistake, or not by not by mistake, but he did it different one day just to try something, and then that became my version." And then I went back and he said, what? And then I played in the recording and said, hear it. He goes, oh, okay. But, you know, so every That's time the tune can be a little different. Before uh, recording my, um, gears, you know, just, so, so granddad taught um, his grandson. It's kind of really much different generation. Also, sometimes, you know, just 
somebody um, didn't play any fiddle, but orally, you know, just singing. So that's uh, changing the kind of shape, the, some tunes. That's what, about, what about oh. Old Horse and Buggy? Are you oh. comfortable to play that? Yeah, that's, but I, that's oh, uh, you want to... Because that sounds very crooked. But yeah, I, I have a really good uh, crooked tune. How about... How about So the challenge would be, um, let's play Elville. Yeah. And we, and here's what I want to invite you to do. Softly, listen for a little bit, and see if you can sing the melody out loud with us. So the style of learning in this music is that the strong core players play the tune